I'm Shyam Varadarajulu from the Center for Interventional Endoscopy at Florida Hospital in Orlando. I'm here to present the findings of a prospective randomized trial that compared endoscopy and surgery for pancreatic pseudosis drainage. Pancreatic pseudosis have traditionally been treated by surgery for the last 30 to 40 years. But for the last 20 years, endoscopy has gained increasing popularity for this procedure. The technique is very straightforward. The procedure can be done as an outpatient and is much less expensive than surgery. But this has never been proven in a prospective randomized fashion. So we conducted a prospective randomized trial at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. We enrolled 40 patients of whom 20 were randomized to endoscopy and 20 were randomized to surgery. All patients with Waldorf pancreatic necrosis were excluded from the trial and that was about 80 patients within a year period. Among the 40 patients who were randomized to two groups, the main outcome measure evaluated was the median time to recurrence of the pseudocyst. It is claimed that at surgery, the incisions are much larger and hence patients have a lower rate of recurrence compared to an endoscopic drainage. So the primary outcome measure was determined by time to pseudocyst recurrence at two year follow up. The secondary outcome measures were treatment success, rates of complications and the quality of life with the inclusion of costs between both techniques. So of the 40 patients randomized to two groups, at two year follow up, there was no rate of recurrence among patients randomized to endoscopy compared to one patient who underwent uh, repeat surgery for pseudosis recurrence. On the other hand, among patients randomized to endoscopy, 19 patients had treatment success and one patient had a treatment failure compared to no treatment failure in the pseudocyst cohort. So statistically, there was no difference in either the, either the rate of recurrence, treatment success or complications between both cohorts. And there were no complications reported between both techniques. The mental health and physical health scores at 24 month follow up were significantly better for endoscopy compared to surgery. And endoscopy was $8,000 cheaper compared to surgery per individual patient. So the conclusion of the randomized trial is that endoscopy and surgery have comparable treatment outcomes with regards to rates of recurrence of the pseudocyst. The advantage of endoscopy is that the quality of life and the costs are much cheaper compared to surgery. However, a caveat of the study is that these findings pertain only to pancreatic pseudocyst and not patients with Waldorf pancreatic necrosis. Thank you.